This video is about the shape of marginal abatement cost curves. You may recall in previous videos I've explained why it is that we will be assuming that your marginal abatement costs are declining with emissions and also the shape of the total abatement cost curve that is linked to that. What I'd like to explain here is a couple of other options for the shape of these curves. One other option for a marginal abatement cost curve is that it's constant. What you can see here is that the marginal abatement cost, or the cost of cleaning up each additional unit of pollution, is 5, no matter what emission level that we're at. What this means is that the total abatement cost curve is going to be downward sloping with emissions. This is because we could say that you're at emission level 6. If we're at emission level 6, what it means is that the sixth unit of pollution costs $5 to clean up. If we move to 5, that also costs an additional $5. If we move to 4, that costs an additional $5. So notice here what that means is that each unit of emissions that's being cleaned up adds $5 to the total cost, or that the slope of the total cost curve is equal to 5, at each emissions level. So that's one option. Another type of realistic looking marginal abatement cost curve is one that's nonlinear and downward sloping. What you can see here is we clean up more and more emissions and get close to a level of zero, say at the emissions level of E1 noted here. Notice that that very last unit of pollution that's going to be cleaned up is actually approaching infinity. It's very expensive to get rid of all waste. So your marginal abatement cost curve in this case would be downward sloping but nonlinear and approaching infinity as we get closer and closer to reducing emissions to zero. What this means is that the total abatement cost curve is going to have a similar shape. It will also be increasing at this increasing rate as we reduce emissions, although the scale would be greater for this one. So to summarize, the main takeaways for this are that your marginal abatement cost curves can take on many shapes, but most are increasing with the cleanup of, of emissions. Two is that your marginal abatement cost curves increase with cleanup because firms are going to be using the cheapest methods of cleanup first. We will assume that these curves are linear for simplicity, but they're more likely nonlinear in the real world.